Okay, this is my story time. The time I made a date to go out to eat with the wrong person. <laughs> Don't judge me. So, a couple years ago, hmm, you know, people always ask me out to eat or whatever. So, I was one of those females, you know. I would um, meet you to go eat, you know, I don't like you just for the meal. I was one, I, I was her. So, somebody, was, these two guys was texting me at the same time. So, I'm like, okay. I was, I was thinking I was at my mom's house for a minute, and then I was about to leave and go home. And I was like, but I wanted something to eat, so I was throwing it out there, you know. I'm kind of hungry. You, you sh it should be nice if you feed me, you know, whatever. So, he was like, okay, meet me. He was like, what you want to eat? I said, well, I like seafood. So he was like, uh, well, meet me at this restaurant. They got some good seafood. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> so, you know, I see my mom a little bit longer. And my daughter is texting me in the middle of this video. Okay, I see my mom a little bit more. And so eventually, I was like, uh, I told him I was about to leave. I said, well, I'll meet you at the restaurant. Who's on my side of town? I say, I be there. So I get there, you know, I'm looking for somewhere to park. It's packed or whatever. I'm like, oh, okay. Never yeah, been here before. So it was different. So <laughs> I get out the car. I walk up the steps and I see um, a familiar face and I'm like, what you doing here? <laughs> he was like, huh? I was like, I'm just messing with you. And I'm thinking to myself, like, bitch, no, you didn't. Ooh, okay. So I just played it off. I ate and everything. But the whole time I'm thinking, like, I ain't know this who the fuck I was talking to. <laughs> oh, my God. That was a hot-ass mess. And then he's sitting up there just talking to me. And I'm just looking at him like, dude, this is awkward. But he didn't know. I, I think at first, and I was like, what you doing here? He probably was like, what? You know. And I, but I played it out. See, I was able to play that shit out, though. But that shit was crazy. Yeah. And then another time, I was, uh, you know, I work with our men. I do logistics. So they always flirt with me, whatever, whatever. You know, I don't pay them no attention because I'm, I'm used to being flirting me a lot, so it really don't phase me. So this one day, it was um, one of the drivers or whatever. He was like, um, near to Houston. So he, he was like, yeah, I came up here one day. I was trying to see if you wanted to go eat. I was like, no, nah, I'll be here late like that. I was at home. So I know one day he shook my hand, but he slipped me something. It was like $100. I was like, okay. I was like, why you giving me this? He was like, oh, we got a birthday coming up, but that's, I say in the summer. So he was like, well, that's going to be for your birthday. I was like, okay. See, because I'm used to people giving me stuff, and he broke me up from just, he broke me up from that eating for free and all that shit. Let me tell you what happened. So one day I was at work, and he was like, uh, Miss Hayes, you, you, you want to go? Get something to eat, you know, when you get out. I'm thinking to myself, I'm hungry. And a lot of times I don't be hungry. I call my daughter be like, You want some what, what rest you want some food? You want where you want some food from? And then she'll tell me, so I tell them like, Yeah, I'm gonna go to such and such restaurant or whatever. So this particular now remind you, I'm not attracted to, don't have no intentions on talking to this man or nothing. I just wanna get the little food or whatever, take it home to my daughter and eat it whatever the case may be at that particular time. So we meet up at the restaurant. I'm eating. He telling me about how he know how to cook real good and, you know, how, what kind of place he's staying in and how many rooms he got and, you know, trying to sell himself to me. And the whole time I'm thinking is, where my damn food at? I need to hurry up. Let me hurry up. So I'm waiting on the waitress to turn around. This fool took his teeth out and sat him on the table. I knew there was something weird going on with his mouth, but I didn't know he had no damn teeth. 
So, anywho, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm trying to keep from laughing because I'm like, ooh, how the fuck I be eating my food and you took your damn teeth out? So, the waitress come with her, I get my food. I, 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 you know, I like to drink. I couldn't even drink like I wanted to because I ain't want to sit and look at his ass. So, I got my food. I ate some of it. Then I put the rest up for my daughter, whatever. So, we get outside to my car. If I go to my car, whatever. He's like, well, you don't want to go nowhere else and get some more drinks? So, I'm like, nah, I got to go home. You know, my daughter... My key is waiting on me, you know, I got to get to the house. I'm tired, I just got to work. I still got my work clothes on, you know. I ain't even taking my uh, safety vest off when I went to the restaurant. Just, yeah, so he was like, well, okay. Do you know this fool been in my window and tried to kiss me, and I damn it, I was in the passenger seat trying to get away from him. Like, ew, what the fuck is you doing? So that's when I stopped. Going to get free meals with dudes that I don't like. Yeah, that shit was funny. And yeah, that'll never happen again. But I just want to share this story time with you. If you like it, like and subscribe to my channel. But that shit was funny as hell. And me going to the restaurant and there was a whole nother person. That shit was priceless. And yeah. And I'll be back with another story time. I got a lot of...